Welcome back to the channel. One of the things that I have struggled with a lot with my videos is my audio. Uh, I have made some really, really <laughs> stupid mistakes over time um, from the point of um, forgetting to turn my, my uh, Rode Wireless Go microphone on and recording all the audio in camera to being out in the field somewhere with my DJI Pocket 2 and leaving the microphone connected to my backpack while I walk 15 or 20 feet away and you can barely hear me because the microphone is picking me up over there, to having my microphone stuck in my pocket like this but turned upside down so that my microphone is actually at the bottom, to something like the clip I'm gonna show you today which is where I had tucked my microphone inside my shirt right here and then it just kept rubbing up against the fabric of my shirt, making a lot of noise that was just impossible to deal with. And so you're left with two alternatives. One, you can go back and you can re-record the video, which takes a lot of time and effort. And you don't remember everything you've said, or you can fix it. And today we're going to show you how to fix it. So I brought a clip into DaVinci Resolve here. This is not the entire clip, but just part of the clip that I had in the video that I, I did um, recently. Uh, it uploaded a couple of weeks ago. And this particular section of the audio was just awful. Let me play it for you real quick so you can hear it. Let's go over here to... Uh, that's, that's the picture from the... Canon R6 Mark II with the 24 to 150 or 24 to 240 millimeter. It was shot at about 150 millimeters. Do you hear that? Do you hear all that scratchy noise? Now, with YouTube videos, about 80% of what keeps people engaged is the audio. And if people are having to listen to this, they're not going to continue to listen. They're going to click off. So. The way to fix this, really simple in DaVinci Resolve. So, uh, well, and, and using a, a, a podcast uh, program by Adobe. So we're gonna go over here to, dev, to deliver. And I'm gonna scroll all the way over here to audio only. And I'm gonna give this a file name. We're gonna call this bad audio example. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop real quick. And then we're going to save it just as audio. And we'll leave it, we're going to do it as an MP3 file. Okay. I'm going to add that to the render queue. I'm going to render it. Won't take long. There it is. It's done. Now. Obviously, this would take longer with a longer clip, but this is where we are right now. So now I'm going to open up this website, podcast.adobe.com slash enhance. And I'll put a link to this in the description below so that you can find it easily. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to my desktop. I'm going to find this audio, and I'm just going to drag and drop the audio over here. And it's going to do its thing. Now, I may cut out some of the video here so that we don't sit here and watch it all. But I'll kind of keep an eye on how long this takes. And, and for this one, done. It's done. Okay. Now, again, if you've got a 15-minute clip, it's going to take a lot longer. Now, I'm going to download this clip. And it's downloading into my downloads. And so now you'll see it has added the word enhanced to the file name so that I can find it. So now I'm going to come back into DaVinci Resolve. I am going to come back over to edit. I am going to uh, open this up just a little bit so I can see it. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to bother saving this anywhere else for this example. I'm just going to drag this into the timeline, come over here. Now they are, for all intents and purposes, the same length, and so they should, um, 
match up just nicely. I'm going to mute the original uh, audio and let's play it again. That's the picture from the Canon R6 Mark II with the 24 to 150 or 24 to 240 millimeter. It was shot at about 150 millimeter. Now you can see all of that scratchiness is gone. It's just gone. There is one problem. And that is, and this was pointed out to me after I'd already uploaded my video and I wasn't gonna do it again, but a friend of mine emailed me and said, hey, do you know your audio is in mono at this last clip? It's stereo all the way through to this last clip. And if you'll notice again, as we're playing this, you'll see over here, audio one is not playing anything. I'm gonna actually come up here. I'm gonna unlink these two. I'm going to disband that. I'm going to come up here. So now when I play it, whoops, sorry. Was shot at about 150 millimeters. It's only playing on the left side. So I want to come, I want to right click here. I want to go to clip attributes under audio and I'm going to change this to stereo. And then I'm going to click so that I have the name of the file showing. Uh, that's and then I'm gonna that's okay. the picture from the Canon R6 Mark II with the 24 to 150 or 24 to 240 millimeter. It was shot at about 150 millimeter. And that's how you fix some bad audio. Uh, and trust me, I have used this now a few times, and it has never failed me. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see you next time.